Annyeonghaseyo! I'm Demarche Lier, one half of Soju for Two. And this is going to be my second attempt to get the Faith review, final review, finally finished. And like most of you probably suspect, I absolutely loved this drama and it really is up there for me as one of my favorite period piece dramas that I've ever seen. And I really enjoyed the chemistry, the storyline. It was just an excellent all around drama and even if it didn't have even ho I would have liked this drama so that was though my main call in the beginning. Uh, so going through the main cast we have Dr. Yoon So played Kim He it played by Kim Hee Son. Uh, Cho Young is played by Eamon Ho. Jong Bin is played by E. Philip and King Gong Min or uh, Wong Gong Min is Ru Dok um, Hwan. And, you know, this is a really kind of big cast of people, and obviously the leads were obviously important to us, but, you know, there are way more characters in this that are really important to the story, and this is one of those things where I would say right away with the characters, everybody adds something to the story, whether it's, you know, like E. Phillips' character with the doctor, uh, who kind of helps her kind of explore, you know, being a doctor in this time period, or we have the villains, you know, and each villain is sort of unique and uh, brings something else to the story. I mean, this is one of those stories where they really were thoughtful in how they chose the characters to be introduced and what the importance of each character would be to the plot. So, as far as chemistry goes, I think that this is one of those chemistries, this is one of those love stories that really grew on me, right? I, I knew right away from the beginning that they would have their, like, turbulent relationship, but I was kind of surprised by how intense their romance and sort of love got for each other, and I was really happy with sort of where it all ended up for the main characters. I also think that the chemistry between, like, Eamon Ho's character and the character of the king was just really excellent because, you know, it showed, like, that friendship and that, um, sort of coming together and having common respect instead of just, you know, doing something out of absolute obligation. And I really enjoyed that. I mean, I think that this was one of those stories that sort of pushed some of the boundaries for me of what I expected, like, a period piece, you know, of this time period to be uh, to be like, because this was the first time I had seen something outside of the Jozen uh, time period for a period piece. It takes place during the Goryeo period, which is much earlier than the Jozen period. Uh, as far as love triangle, it's really interesting because I remember one of our first, like maybe our watching now, I thought there would be so many love triangles in this story, and there really aren't. You know, the groupings that kind of set up very early on are how they are uh, in this story, and it's really more of just complications you know, outside of the realm of love that really interfere with these relationships and definitely, you know, there's a strong connection between the king and the queen and, you know, and then between obviously the two leads and I think that this was one of those stories where it didn't need a love triangle but I thought there was going to be one so it did surprise me. <laughs> Uh, misunderstanding, mistaken identity. Okay, well, mistaken identity is a huge part of this, right? Because the whole reason why uh, Eamon Ho kind of picks her, it's, you know, randomly, uh, she's a plastic surgeon, uh, is because he's looking for a great doctor to help um, the queen. And this is sort of the major issue that starts out in the beginning, and everyone assumes because she's from the future, ac actually they think she's from heaven. And that's like a big misunderstanding and kind of leads to some problems initially. Um, but I think for, for me, the biggest like misunderstandings for the relationship and the love interest are really just of, they know that they like, like each other or have feelings for each other, but they're not really admitting it because they know that she's going to return or at least that's what they think is going to happen. And they're really complicated by, they're held in by their, you know, limits of their being from different time periods. So I think the misunderstandings are really based here around time misunderstanding. This is a time leap or time jump, you know, as, as you want to talk about that being a common genre now. Uh, but definitely that's going to be the main problem that they'll face. Uh, bad guy turned good. Okay, well, I think that this is one of those stories where the villains kind of have redeeming qualities at some points and then also end up really just end up being villains. So, you know, there's certain times where some of the villains here, you like them a little bit, and then they just end up disappointing us and end up dying, pretty much. So, uh, I really don't think any of the bad guys here turn really good. I just think that the good guys get better <laughs> in this story. Uh, piggyback rides, honestly, I can't remember anything like that. I don't think there was anything like that. 
Um, this really didn't seem like a piggyback ride kind of drama. You know, there wasn't any drunken piggyback rides, so I would have enjoyed it. Uh, kisses. So there are some really good kisses in this. And, you know, just some, I don't know, intense build-up. Like, sometimes the kiss, you don't even need a good kiss if you have that intense tension, uh, which they definitely had here. So, though it was a period piece, so I didn't expect a lot of kisses, but the kisses they had, I did enjoy. Uh, fashion. So, well, this is one of those ones where... I've gotten really used to Josen fashion period piece, so I have no idea at all what Goyo fashion looked like and if this was more of a fantastical idea of it or if it was actually, um, you know, kind of clothing they would wear. So I have no idea about that. If you know about Goyo fashion, please uh, enlighten me a little bit because I would really be interested to see if it was kind of as fantastical as they sort of made it seem. Uh, it seems like the king and queen's outfits might have been like actually what they were wearing but it seemed like some of the other outfits or like the high officials their outfits didn't seem quite realistic to me but who knows maybe they were um music okay so this is definitely one that had a dramatic soundtrack and uh like when i was talking about Arong and the magistrate this is the same kind of thing where the music was super intense and really added to the story uh i love when a korean drama song becomes like if I ever hear it again, I'm just going to immediately be taken to that moment. And I feel like this song, song will definitely be that kind of effect on me. Uh, so as far as you know, giving this an overall rating, I would have to say that this is going to be ranked really high for me. I give this a 9.5. And, and really, um, for me, the only kind of issue was that it was a little slow for me in the beginning. But the end really knocked it forward for me. So I think that the only reason why it's not a 10 is because it was a little slow in the beginning. But... I love the story. I think this is even Ho's. I mean, I love Boys Over Flowers. Everyone knows that, but I definitely think he is acting so much better uh, as every role he gets. And they're all different, and I really appreciate that about what kind of choices he makes. He's not just picking the same character over and over again. Uh, so I really liked the story, and I would recommend watching it if you want to watch a period piece, and especially if you want to watch a period piece that has sort of interesting fantasy elements to it. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.